Okay, hello guys. All right. Yeah, we are live. Hi guys. Hi, hi everyone. Anyone there? Okay. Anyone there? Anyone there? Let's say hi. So we have here uh, Adrian and also I'm Ober from Cytron. And we have special guests also. Uh, we will invite them in later on. So I pass the floor to Adrian. Uh. Thanks, Ogre. Um, so welcome to our 3D campaign, uh, December 2020. Okay, I hope you guys uh, are ready for this uh, one hour session. So during this session, we will be, um, like what Ogre said, we have invited a few uh, special guests. Hi, Raymond. Hi. Right, um, so we have invited a few special guests. They are over here. And um, during this session, we will uh, all of us have different um, experiences in 3D printing. So we will be sharing our experience with you guys. And um, we hope that during this session, you will learn uh, one thing or two. And um, the whole idea is actually to introduce you to 3D printing and also to share you our experience in 3D printing. All right, uh, we have students in our special guests and also we have uh, high school students, primary school students, and also um, a professional uh, 3D printing enthusiast. And also, um, I'm not gonna reveal his name later. When you see his face, you will know who he is. <laughs> okay, and of course, we already put it in the caption here. So read the caption. Um, so basically what we're doing today, again, uh, is to introduce you to 3D printing and um, there will be more at the end of this session. Okay, so I hope you guys will stay uh, with us until the end of this session as well. So hi, Mukris. All right, Saturn Energies, I like a lot. Okay, so now uh, let's invite all our special guests um, into the floor. Okay, so over here we have um, Johnson, all right, founder of Kaki DIY. Kaki DIY, Johnson on the right, and then we have Marcus on the left. Right, I'll, I'll leave the introduction and we have what right I believe if you follow Python uh, live session um, for the past few months you will know who is what or if you follow Python's video you will definitely know who is what okay, so to what over here on the left okay all right um, are you ready, kids? All right, Captain. <laughs> okay. So uh, without wasting um, more time, let's proceed to our conversation. Okay. Um, bear in mind that during this conversation, there will be a live demo. We won't be showing you how to fix your 3D printer. We won't be showing you um, what is a 3D printer or what is this model, what is that model. No, we will really discuss and talk about what we feel on 3D printing, okay? And I hope you guys on the floor, um, our viewers, right, feel free to drop us any questions. If you have experiences that you want to share about 3D printing, by all means, this conversation is not just for five of us in this, call, in this live session. It's open to everyone in the comment section, right? Take this one hour session as the DIY enthusiasts and community coming together to share their experience. Okay. Okay, great. Um, so how this is going to work is I will be hosting um, the interview. I'll be asking um, questions right, relatable to 3D printing and the floor will be open to all our guests here, including over and also um, to the viewers in this, uh, to our viewers uh, who are watching our live session right now. Okay, are you all ready? Are you guys yep. ready? So what, we're excited. Okay, um, never mind, there's no difficult or easy questions. If you are ready to give an answer, by all means, go ahead and give your answer. If everyone wants to give an answer, let's take one step at a time. 
Okay, um, one person go first and the person goes later. We have plenty of time. Okay, all right. Um, let's start with a simple question. Okay, this is uh, if you are a beginner, all right, three D printing, or if you have you haven't heard of a three D printing or three D printer, you don't know what is three D printing at all. You'll probably be wondering what is a three D printing. What is um, you can't really imagine what's a three D printer like, and when you actually Google and see, oh, this is a 3D printer, you will look at the 3D printer and be like, hey, man, what is this? I don't even know what is this, all right? So the biggest question is, how do, how are all the, all right, active users, all right, enthusiast users or passionate users of 3D printers get inspired in 3D printing? Okay, let me rephrase this question. What inspired you to start 3D printing, your 3D printing journey? That's the biggest question. What really inspired you? You don't just, hey, I got a 3D printer. I love this 3D printer. You don't, there's no love at first sight lah, on a 3D printer. I'm not sure whether that happens or not, but um, I would like to hear from all of you guys. Okay. Oh, Hi. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jaden is here. Hi, Jaden. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jaden. Hello. <laughs> right. So Jaden is also one of our special guests. Um, and the question is also open to him as well. And everyone on the floor. Again, uh, our viewers, are, well, we welcome you to ask us questions and also answer the questions. OK, so again, rephrase. What inspired you to start your 3D printing journey? My games. <laughs> OK, they didn't start this up. Jaden starts. Okay. She's so excited. Okay, just came in. Okay, come, Jaden. Hi, Jaden. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. All right. So, um, you know what is 3D printing, right? What makes yeah. you love 3D printing? What makes you actually start 3D printing? Is it because it's very cool, or what? What's the real reason behind why you started 3D printing? Do you know that? Because sometimes we can print the things that are not in the world. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a very good answer. Do you know what kind of things that you can imagine that doesn't exist in the world? What kind of things that you will be able to print with a 3D printer? Do you have any example? Unicorns. Oh, Dragon. unicorns. Yes. All right. That's actually a very good example because we don't really see unicorns and dragons, all right? Um, <laughs> so it actually creates a very imaginative world for 3D printing. All right, so Jaden, do you have anything else you want to share all right, with dragons and unicorns that you are able to print with a 3D printer? All right. Is there any reason why you love it so much or you started 3D printing because unicorns and dragons. Because my game have it. Oh, and because that's because I learn micro bit and edu bit, then I can make the case for them. Oh, all right. So that's a true application over there. All right, and also we know the root. We know the real reason right now because we play games with dragons and unicorns. <laughs> all right, so you can actually make your idea or your cartoon rail right you can actually make it physical okay thank you Jaden, for uh, for sharing um what inspired you to start your 3d printing journey all right i'm going to open this question to um everyone all our special guests here if you're ready uh, go ahead you can answer it but let me read the comment section right now um oh okay shaman here shared that digital design designing inspires me all right Okay, that's a really good, um, really good point. Okay, some people love to do 3D modeling, like to design 3D objects. So for Shaman, he he's inspired by designing the parts, like designing the dragons and unicorns. Okay, you know how to draw the design, the um, dragons and unicorns. Okay, so. Um, Anyone else wants to share why you started 3D printing? 
Well, I started off 3D printing when I was okay. in Form 1. When I first joined my maker's lab in my school, there was a Pusa IT 3D printer. So I started off using that printer. I used that 3D printer to experiment and learn more about 3D printing. But what actually got me inspired in 3D printing was the very, the very fact and thought of it that my ideas can come to reality. So that's what really gave me hope and gave me inspiration to continue 3D printing. So that's why I, until today I still 3D printing. Okay. So during your Form 1, because Form 1 is, we, we don't say that it's an early age or it's a late age all right, to learn 3D printing, but when you see the 3D printing, you, I don't believe that you like, oh, I love this thing, right? You probably try to 3D print something or you've seen it somewhere before or you've seen someone printed an object and then you're like, hey, I think that's very useful. Right, but before that, what makes you think? What makes what brings you the confidence of using the machine? You know, some people look at the machine and they're like, "Whoa, that's a very scary machine," right? But no, I I am speaking on behalf of a lot of high school from one students. Uh, when they look at the three D printer, wow, that machine very chunky. Eh? I scared it cut off my hand later or cut off my finger later, right? But why don't you feel that way? You look at the machine and then you're like, I want at to first, conquer that. At hmm? first, I feel that. But then slowly, after I actually tried 3D printing for myself, I took the risk. Lah. I just tried the 3D print. And when things actually managed to play out well, then I got interested in it and I wanted to try more. Okay. So that's why I got the basic confidence on how to 3D print. That, all right. That's great. So when you started your 3D printing, is it, is it, um, do you find it scary? or you find it very weird or how do you feel when you first begin 3d printing right. the first time i 3d printed something i was very nervous i was very nervous something might spoil something might jam somehow it was my school's printer i was afraid <laughs> things might not go as planned but then when i tried the first time things went well then from there i basically mm -hmm. had the confidence to build more things all right thanks marcus so um Right, I think that's a very, very solid answer. Right? When we first started 3D printing, I believe it happens to everyone. Now, right, if you have a, a machine at home, if you have a 1000 ringgit machine at home, right, the first thing that you feel is whether you will, you're going to spoil the machine or not. Right, that's the, your first reaction. You don't say, oh, I'm going to make it successful on my first try. Right? You'll be thinking, if it doesn't work, then how? Huh? Right, especially Marcus, it's not even his printer, right? It's the school's free printer. So in order to start, it takes a lot of confidence and a lot of push and a lot of risk. If you start and then like, oh, what happens if the 3D printer rolls up? Right? You'll be worried. So, um, but again, you, you give a very good, you, you show as a very good example that you should just start and then you will see what's going to happen next. And then when it goes well, then good. Right, if it doesn't go well, then try again. All right. So, um, anyone else want to share why hey. 3D printing inspired you? Hey. <laughs> Can I share first? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I go. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Actually, I know about 3D printer during my university years. Okay, but then at that time, I don't have money. Okay, like Barker said, student don't have money. So I just saw, uh, I just see my friend do the 3D printing process and, and then when I start working, okay, uh, I feel like, should I get 3D printer? And then after I do a lot of projects, I need some things that couldn't, uh, couldn't fit with my project, okay? I, I need something that I need to design it on my own so that it can fit to my project, okay? And then, but then I still delay, delay to buy it after I, uh, and then PKP start, okay, PKP start, I start, so Johnson, <laughs> Johnson start 3D printing for frontliners, face shield, and then I was like, okay, this is the time, I should get this one mm. so that I can also help other people and do my project. Uh, that's why I buy 3D printer. Mm. Johnson, <laughs> 3D printer. 
No, no, no. The important question: Did you print anything for the frontliner? <laughs> yeah, I didn't print anything for the frontliner, but I did print a. Uh, can you guys see? His, uh, a face mask extender for my family and friends. Mm. Okay, they asked me, yes, and then I designed, I custom made for them. Okay, I put their name on that. Yeah, I think that's inspired me to get a 3D printer. <laughs> Thank you, Johnson. <laughs> Thank you, Johnson. <laughs> this is the first time I'm hearing this. I'm so honored. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's my turn. So, well, I can like, like Suat's uh, story as well. I was inspired to get into 3D printing. So this was back in 2015, actually. And five years ago, we don't have like, you know, 3D printers technology as we have today. Uh, so I was inspired by this one particular person. He's very famous in the makers uh, community as well. His name is Jin. So Jin actually was, you know, we, we came together and was talking about like, how are we going to, you know, expand and inspire others through the maker movement, right? And then he said, very simple. There's just a few things that you can do. Like one is coding, like, you know, how do you know and Raspberry Pi? He talked very fast, right? He's, he's Jin. And then he said, the other thing that caught my mind was 3D printer. We can build and then we can, you know, do 3D printing and do 3D uh, printing farms and stuff like that. So that particular time, of course, I understand what is a 3D printer because, you know, in the industry, you have huge 3D printers costing, you know, half a million dollars and stuff like that. And then I told him that, how can we afford a 3D printer, right? But one thing about Gene is he was very resourceful. So that particular time, he actually had a few sets of those, you know, DIY type. Those days, the DIY type was from the RepRap and uh, Delta. So he had a Delta 3D kit, partially 3D printed and partially, you know, open source stuff. And he said, like, why not I sell it to you very cheap? As actually, he sold me at a loss for me to build it up and then I try it out, right? So yeah, that that was when I started and it was really tough, I tell you. I don't understand. I don't know what is a print bait. I don't know what is extruder because I was installing it halfway. Then I was like, hey, Jin, what, what's wrong with this? Then you say, oh, no worries. You just have to set the extruder and then do the bait leveling. Then I was like, what? What what, what hot end? And then things like that, right? So but ever since then, yeah, that that's where I started and I got inspired. Lah. Hmm. Thanks, thanks, Johnson, for sharing. All right, I <laughs> we actually most of us didn't know that 2015 um, 3D printer, like you say, it's actually very not known to uh, our local community yet, right? During 2015, um, and uh, if you can compare from 2015 and, and 2020, right, the difference is very huge, right? The community have built on top of what we have right, from the past and today we actually have a very simple um, solution for beginners to actually pick up imagine 2015 when let's say Jaden over here decided to learn 3d printing <laughs> what will happen <laughs> all right so the the complexity is different back then and now and right now it's more accessible than ever uh, uh, for for our students for all right, as young as primary school students to pick up 3D printing. Um, and I, I believe it's all thanks to the community like Johnson over here um, for taking up the first step to start off 3D printing in the community in Malaysia. Okay, um, thanks Johnson for uh, sharing uh, what inspired you on 3D printing. Okay, let's, uh, let us look at the comment. Uh, we have a few comments from, uh, from the floor. All right, this is from Shaman. 3D printer is it might be a little dangerous as some naughty children might touch the hot nozzle and burn their fingers. Actually, that's true, all right? That's like the lesson number one, do not touch the hot nozzle, okay? If you touch the hot nozzle, your skin is gonna stay on the nozzle over there. <laughs> it's gonna fry and you're gonna smell chicken. <laughs> you're gonna smell some, right, some burn, burn skin over there. So uh, yes, a 3D printer, can be dangerous for a certain age limit, but um, as it progresses, right, our students actually build the confidence to, to understand machines. Okay? Our primary school students, you see them learning robotics. They don't fear robots anymore. And then after they learn robotics, they decide, hey, why not I try 3D printing? 
it's no longer as as dangerous as the past where everything looks complex looks difficult okay there are a lot of safety measure these days like the limit switch on every corner of the exit right and let, let's continue um more summit I didn't learn from university, but I can do more than university doing. <laughs> That's why he's talking about bomb trigger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And then, yeah. So, so again, um, to those who just joined our session, we are uh, in this session, we are having a conversation on um, why we started 3D printing journey and also um, what's our experience in 3d printing journey or in our 3d printing journey so feel free to drop your comment i will read out your comment and also we'll, we'll make a discussion out of your comment as well okay so um i guess i'm gonna proceed to my next question we are not gonna stay on the first question for too long uh okay so my next question is um it goes without saying all right as a beginner when you start off something new of course you will face challenges right you will face problems and then you don't buy a 3d printer knowing that you won't face any problem at all you are going to face one problem two problem and then five years later until today i believe johnson still face problems new problems problems that you don't expect all right so my question is what's the most challenging problem you have faced throughout your 3d printing journey okay you can take some time to think right but if you think about it, okay, um, I can give you a, a very quick answer from my personal experience. I didn't answer the first question. So while you're thinking, even the floor, uh, while you guys are thinking, uh, I'm going to give an answer for this one. What's my most challenging problem when I face throughout my 3D printing journey? Okay, my 3D printing journey is the biggest problem is there's more problem to it, right? the problem is not one problem the problem is <laughs> uncountable problems okay today i spent 10 days fixing one problem and the next thing you know there's a second problem and after you fix the second problem there's a third problem fourth problem right but the journey is never ending you keep on learning right that's the fun in 3d printing you keep to you get to keep on learning new problems new solutions and then you can share your solutions to people and then you keep upgrading and making your, your 3D printer better, right? So imagine your 3D printer is a robot and then you keep upgrading it to make it better and better and better. And then one day you have a perfect 3D printer, which doesn't exist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, I will pass to you guys. Share what's your most challenging problem you have faced throughout your 3D printing journey. Anyone? Okay, maybe I go first okay. because uh, my my problems start from five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Since I'm what your kind of thing. Okay, so so back in the days, right? In, back in 2015, the main problem I have was of course the whole information itself. Because whenever I face problem, which there's plenty of it about the 3D printer, I have actually not 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 much people to go to. There's not much of a local community, and even when that time, uh, when local community started, it was really very silo, and they don't really post it online much, right? So I have to Google it and stuff like that. And actually, I got something to confess. So back that time, from 2015 to 2016, I was actively printing, but then actually from 2017 to 2019, I actually almost totally stopped. And I almost totally stopped because of frustration. Okay, uh, I really, really don't like to do uh, all this diagnostic and calibration and whatnot. All because those days, okay, the 3D printers that I was using were all, you know, mostly either DIY or very proprietary systems. I won't mention any of the brands, right? And you know, whenever there's something that's spoiled, you have to order their parts. Whenever there's something, you know, out of calibration, sometimes it's either you have to dismantle the entire 3D printer to get to the core of it, or you have to send back to their service center, right? Which is the way they make money and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So actually, because of that, I almost gave up 3D printing. And then recent years, I got it back again is because, you know, technology changed. It became quite open source. It became most of the stuff are very 
you know, it, it's no longer proprietary. It's open standards. You can actually replace using other parts. Even like today, right? Nozzle itself is the same throughout. You can just buy the same nozzle and use it in easily 20, 30 brands of 3D printers outside. Okay. Belting systems, servo motors and stuff like that. So that's why I started back again recently, right? So mm -hmm. yeah, so at that time, the biggest problem I faced, one is information, two are proprietary parts. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, that is true. Information is very important, um, especially back then. Like if you look back like 20 years, right, even information is very difficult to find. Right? And if you talk about 3D printing five years ago and today, there's a lot of progress in the 3D printing community, all right? So much information has been gathered by the community. We now know how to solve complex problems with everyone together sharing their experiences. So um, I believe thanks to, again, thanks to Johnson um, for sharing what's the biggest challenges five years ago that you don't have to face today, okay? I, um, and also the all the issues uh, that we, the past have faced and today the machines that you get right it's no longer the same it's no longer as complex and it's very compatible among one another right and uh, okay i'm not gonna list out the names of the printer but a lot of printers can work with each other the parts can be shared among 3d printers yeah. i can okay. share something over here like for example mm. this particular wow. toolbox right yeah so this is my mini toolbox to nowadays to diagnose and repair my own 3D printers, right? So whatever you see here is actually quite compatible these days with everything else, okay? So this is the hot end, which five years ago, I don't know what it is, okay? Can you touch this thing? No, why? Because it's the burner filament. The burner filament, yes, it's hot, yes. right? But you see, even these today, you see, they have this silicon jacket, which is, mm. you know, at least you don't burn your fingers anymore, right? So all these things are almost quite, you know, universal and compatible throughout different types of 3D printers, okay? I think almost all the 3D printers you guys sell and 60% of the 3D printers you can find online in any e-commerce, you can use this hot end, right, kind of thing. Even extruder motors, there are so many types right now. And I know today's extruder motors also have been upgraded to, you know, stamp on types and stuff like that. But these are also very, very universal. So just imagine, Back there, four years back, four years ago, everyone is trying to build their own 3D printer technologies. And the three 3D printers I have, all three of them have different boxes like this because <laughs> all their parts are different, right? And it's so much more expensive to maintain because then I have to have three different sets. Today, this one box can maintain everything, which is perfect, which is nice. Mm. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I think that's like the biggest problem back then you know expensive you know back then it's very expensive any parts is expensive huh? all right let's look at the comment section um we have a few comments starting from michael over here um michael Kwa shared that setting the temperature for abs as beginner and fixing the abs on the heat plate right that's his biggest challenge um we can't agree more that's very true Right, to set the tree, the temperature, the correct temperature for ABS. Um, ABS actually is a type of materials for 3D printing. Where in 3D printing, we have a lot of materials here from PLA, PPU, and then there's ABS. Right, different types of materials have different types of characteristics. So Michael over here mentioned that ABS, setting the correct temperature is very difficult. It's not as easy as something a beginner can do. It. If you set the wrong temperature, you're going to get a different product. Your product is going to work. All right. So that's a legit, very challenging problem. And um, it gets easier and easier day by day, right? When you solve the problem over and over again. Okay. Um, and then there's this next question, uh, next answer. Bit leveling, the biggest problem from Cairo. All right. I think this one is like 10 out of 10, right? <laughs> Uh, if you do a lot of 3D printing, at some point you will realize that uh, bit leveling, any problem, bit leveling. Okay, so um, thanks for sharing, Cairo. Okay. So again, why we are pointing out all these challenges from our viewers is because these problems exist. It's not a new problem anymore. All right. If you decided to start 3D printing today, 
Okay? And you're worried that what if I'm going to face a new problem tomorrow? Don't worry, you're not going to face a super new problem because the problems have already been faced and the solutions are out there. You just need to ask and join the community and learn together. Okay, and then that's Michael again. Four years ago, I bought basic 3D printer around 3K. True, Johnson, <laughs> right? I think that's like the, um, the maybe right. that's considered cheap back then. Uh. <laughs> right? 3, yeah, it 3, is. Yeah. Because that time, the, the branded ones is easily 15,000 to 20,000 to get it, you know, a, a good decent one. So. Yeah. So, um today uh you can even get 3d printer as low as 700 800 all right the diy type of 3d printer the the price gradually right drops a lot okay if you look back at 20 years ago 3d printer goes as much as hundred thousand for industry users and then 10 years ago when red rap started all right it's cheaper but still not so cheap Okay, and then five years ago, it's getting cheaper. And today, it's so cheap, it's less than 1,000 that students can actually get their own 3D printers. Okay, so thanks to the community and also um, a lot of people are working together to create more and more cheaper 3D printers for the community. And all right, last answer from Shaman. The worst problem I face is taking out the filament that is stuck under the extruder at the extruder. Another one is I keep worrying about the damage on the printer for each design I print. All right, so um, yeah, it's a common problem and it's a common thread. And things like this, when you face it, you, you feel very frustrated. All right, you feel very frustrated and then you're like, oh, I'm going to give up 3D printing. But if you imagine, if you post those questions right uh, on the community, everyone is ready to help you. Even Cytron is also ready to help you solve, uh, solve your problem, right? So I uh, hang in there, Shaman. <laughs> I know you have a lot of um, challenges on 3D printing. Okay, thanks for your comment. All right, without, okay, let's pause right here and continue our questions, all right, for our interview questions. So my next question is, where do you normally get help when you face a problem? Okay, um, perhaps Ober or Swat or Marcus can try to uh, share <laughs> and answer. All right, who want to try first? Mm -hmm. Oh, Marcus, okay. Okay, Marcus, you can go ahead first. Marcus. Marcus. Okay. Well, normally when I have a problem, the first thing I do is I check on YouTube to see if there's a way to fix my problem. If I can't find it on YouTube, then I will see Facebook. There's a Facebook community and all the groups. I will see if any other people have faced the same problem as me. And there's a way to fix it. So from there, I already get like the needs or what I want to, how I have to fix it. Lah. I get the main idea of how I need to fix my problem. If I completely cannot find how to fix my problem, then I already start asking friends already. For example, I'll ask Adrian if I cannot fix it. Really. Right. I think that's a very good answer, right? You are actually making use of what you, what we have today, YouTube, um, the community, right? Um, one thing I would like to highlight is how do you know where to find those community on Facebook group? How do you know that this group is, you, are, you should join this group, right? There are so many groups, huh? Which one should I go to? Well, how I started, how I started was, when I entered one group, example, Creality Under Tree group, mm -hmm. which is a 3D printer I'm using, when I enter that group, it leads me to another group. And from that group, it will lead me to another group. So it's a loop from other groups to other groups. So from there, when I find one, I can find many other communities. So I just join all the groups. <laughs> Everybody join all the groups. So you have a lot of Under Tree community groups. Uh. <laughs> right. I think that's a very good solution. Um, and of course, if you want to learn, right, you, you join the people it doesn't have to be malaysia right it, ha it can be the, the group that you join is it from malaysia or is it from like overseas or worldwide right worldwide so the community is worldwide everyone is using the same 3d printer and if you post the problem there everyone is going to help you okay or you can even search existing um posts so yeah that's a very good solution over there and of course um YouTube channel, like I said, 
if you don't want to look at a post a picture and learn you can always go to youtube and see how all right people fix the 3d printers and stuff okay um so so what do you want to share um how do you normally i right, get help <laughs> to solve your problems okay mm, my way to solve the problem is uh, exactly the same with marcus okay i google first and then i go to youtube and search for the same problem that i have okay and then the fastest way that i can do i will ask adrian and brother damian <laughs> mm. then i'm sure my problem will get solved instant <laughs> okay instant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lucky because I have yeah. friends and Lee who is into the 3D printer. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I, I think uh, yeah. That's okay. Um, same thing as Marcus. I think it's a it's a very good uh, how to say go to solution. If you face a problem, even if you are a beginner, you fix a 3D printer, you have a problem. The first thing you can do is surround yourself with the same people with the same hobby, right? I I love three. I want to learn learn how to love three D printing. So I will mix with three D printing community from Facebook. Um, I can even join the makers gathering on Telegram, the Cytrons, um Telegram group. All right, I'm pretty sure a lot of people over there have a three D printer. And all right, you just need to get yourself out there in the community. Okay? you and then don't worry, your problem will be solved over there. I think that's the best best way to. To get yourself um, to learn quickly and solve problem quickly. Okay. Are you all still okay? Are you all still all right? All good. All still okay. Okay. Let's leave, read some comments. Um, okay. This is from. Uh, okay, Michael Call. Now we can get it cheaper, mechanic easy to share and use. That's true. And then there's Shaman. Um, all right, another money is problem, but now thanks to Creality, our, we have a lot of budget printer, and that's also true. 3D printer is getting more and more accessible, cheaper. And then, um, hi, Salam. And then there's Jaden. Jaden is over here. All right, I'm lucky because I can ask just Adadi. <laughs> All right, that's, that's also very true. So, Jaden over here. All right, so, um, yeah, if you know someone around you that knows 3d printing that's like the best way to just get help like oh daddy help me i have a problem on 3d printing all right and then instant okay and then um last comment from shaman well i will ask my mentor and worldwide tutor for help and search solution online okay um that's the best way to go okay if you have a mentor that is able to guide you through step by step or if you have someone to go to that's the best way to learn 3d printing so that you don't feel not confident in facing a new problem okay it's like you learn sejarah or you learn geography and then of course you have a school teacher there always in the office for you if you have a problem you go to ask your teachers so 3d printing and also any electronics diy is the same you all have Having a mentor is good. If you have any problem, you can always look for your mentor. Your mentor will look for his mentor and the mentor will look for his mentor. Lah, <laughs> if there's a very difficult problem. Okay. All right. Let's continue on our questions again. Um, this question, I am going to post it to the experienced user over here. Um, Okay, and also to anyone, uh, any of our viewers, what's your best advice to students and beginners who are interested in starting their 3D printing journey? All right, um, take a moment to think about it. Okay, uh, as an experienced user, imagine you have to all right, give a piece of advice to primary school students on 3D printing, what's your best advice? Anyone? Okay, okay, maybe I start first. My one will okay. be a little bit harsh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, well, one 
think for sure, whenever you start something, whether it's a technology or what, right? Okay. Um, one, don't get don't get into it just because it is cool. Okay. Don't get into it just because you have been pressured by your friends who are in it and things like that. Okay. Uh, I know a lot of people, they get into technologies, okay, 3D printing, they're pressured into it because it's cool and trendy and because their teachers say it's important or because their friends say, oh, I also have it, you must have it too, okay? But, you know, you just take a step back and you think at it first. Look at it as a tool, okay? 3D printer is just a tool. It's just like your tool, like your compass or, you know, a spana or screwdriver or wrench. It's just a tool. You must first understand why you need it, okay? And then after you know why you need it and how you can do something with it, you will definitely find plenty of ways to do it or to use it, okay? Then you will then have more, you know, passion and more, more motivation to get into it. If not, if you're just getting into it just because it's cool or someone pressure you into it, you will go into it and then halfway through, I tell you, the passion will just die off, okay? Uh, partially speaking of experience as well back in 2015. But yeah, so that's my advice. You want to add something into it? Hmm? Okay, yeah. So how do you tell your friends who wants to go into 3D printing? I'll let them use 3D pen first. Oh, okay. Okay. Then after that, when it's okay, then after that, I'll teach them Tinkercad. Hmm. Then after that, start 3d printing mm, okay mm. That, yeah that, that's how Jaden started as well he basically you know do 3d objects using 3d pen uh then after that he got the idea of building 3d objects out of filaments and then you know then he has the question on how do you design 3d stuff right and after that yeah he picked up he think a cat yeah so yeah that's the, yeah i think that's uh that's a very good answer. That, that's a very good stepping stone for, for um, younger age students like Jaden, right? To learn 3D printing, it doesn't mean to have, you need a 3D printing machine, right? I, I believe um, for those who don't know what is a 3D pen or what's Tinkercad, I, I think Ober have a 3D pen over there that he can show, right? 3D pen is like, yes, it's like a pen that you can draw 3D objects um, not this, not so nice, lah, but <laughs> you can draw 3D objects without the need of a computer. <laughs> right? You don't need to 3D model using um, a CAD software. Yes, like, yeah, Jaden have an example over there. Yeah. It's, a, it's a star what? over there. So mm. yeah, what's that? you can actually draw right, a star batch using a 3D pen just to get the concept of how 3D printing works, okay? Don't get the wrong impression that 3D printing equal to, oh, that giant machine that does the 3D printing thing. It can be 3D pen, okay? And like Jaden's um, advice, you can start with 3D pen and then you can start with Tinkercad. You can start with the software. Then once you get comfortable with 3D printing, you move on, enter the, the real 3D printing machine, right? And that by that time, you you don't feel as um, anxious as you have nothing, right? Because you already started your, your journey, okay? So thanks, Jaden, um, for sharing your advice to your your friends and also students. Thank you, Jaden. Okay. Over here, Sharman, he said, never stop trying when it comes to 3D printing. Always try and error. If you fail, don't worry. Try again or try modifying your old ideas. Right. That's uh, an, an, an advice from Sharman. Okay. You also, as long as you keep trying, right, you don't give up, you will be able to solve the problem, right? Keep trying and try again. So, um, I'm still going to open this question to the floor. Anyone wants to share um, what's your uh, advice for, let's say, uh, your same age as you? We don't have to always think about um, the younger generation. We can also think about how are we going to convince 
I am in between. But how am I going to convince my ama or my akong to learn 3D printing? You can always ask this question. Right? It doesn't have to be the younger generation. It can also be the older generation. Right? We are in between. So how are you going to advise? How will you advise uh, your peers, same age as you, or older generation or younger generation to take up 3D printing? Anyone? Over. <laughs> Over seems excited. <laughs> oh, normally at, at uh, our our age, uh, <laughs> at our age is uh, it's very difficult to convince. Uh. <laughs> there must be a very uh very high needs uh, for them to pick up new technology or new things. Uh. For example, phone uh, we know. Uh, uh, our father age or mother age, uh, they will mm. only use the phone as to call or message, that's all. No, no gaming or things like that. No. Uh, so 3D printing is, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's quite new technology. Uh, so for the young younger generations, it's good. Uh, yeah. mm. uh, they, they, they see the needs. Uh, they see the, the problem-solving kind of ideas there. Uh, so but yeah for older generation is uh quite difficult <laughs> yeah but one thing i, I believe is the the wow factor the wow factor uh, happens for all age uh, for 3d printing if you take a 3d printer you show to young students they will be wow you take your same 3d printer you show um, the elders they will also wow the reaction will all, almost be the same because they don't expect to see this and the children may expect to see this, but it's still wow. It's a wow thing for 3D printing, yeah. right? So by looking at this, I'm talking based on experiences by talking to a lot of teachers, right? Teachers, wow, okay. Um, but they sometimes, uh, confidence level will be different, but they will get the students, okay, this is suitable for my students. Right? My students can learn this. Okay, it's a totally different thing already, right? Same goes to the Ama Akong. Okay. Um, I think this is a very good invention. I may not need it, but my, my grandson and my grandchildren may need it. <laughs> right. Something like that. So I think the wow factor is over there. We can agree that the wow factor is over there in all age. That everyone can just I want this, maybe not for me, but for my kids. <laughs> well, there's something that I can add yeah. to this one. Uh from my experience of selling 3d printers to mm -hmm. older people right 40 50 years old and things like that yes one uh agent you talked about it like for example you 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 tell them right you know yeah you can you know elderly people you can print toys for your grandchildren and they will like it and things like that and then they'll pick it up okay so that's one second is all on the commercial value side okay uh because end of the day uh, I, I share with them what 3d printers can do right 3d printers can print things where you can sell so uh, I sold to arts and craft um, entrepreneurs. So they are, you know, uh, retirees and they, they stay at home kind of thing. So I say like, you know, you can actually print, you know, keychains and name tags and jewelries and stuff like that. You just design your own and just print it out because you can just leave it. And then after two hours, you have 10 of them already and they can sell them, right? so and i just do a rough calculation just imagine you just print 400 of this and you sell it at like five ringgit each you actually get back the cost with profit already boom immediately a few units sold <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the way yeah yeah so like what okay we have someone commented that, that's that's from yes, business point of view uh, yeah, the, the commercial point of view, point of view. <laughs> and that's that very good. is very true and actually that it's a selling point right for um it doesn't have to be fully education it can be half education and commercial we also want our student to learn entrepreneurship as well right um okay over here so jean is here <laughs> i use 3d printer to do my fitting for installation all right it's a practical need right it doesn't have to be commercial it doesn't have to be um, education, but it's very practical. You know what you want, right? It's a it's a very how to say ideal uh, reason to get a three D printer as well. Okay, um, let's proceed to our question. We don't have much time left. Um, 
So those who are still watching this live session, um, we will have a free giveaway, five 200 gram PLA filaments by end of this session. Okay, Of course, we will have a, a short question and answer session to get this going. All right, that's the last five minutes. So we have five more minutes left. Um, and okay, here's my next question. Here's my next question. Based on your experience, this question is applicable for Jaden and Marcus. Okay, especially for Jaden and Marcus. Based on the experience, is it difficult to set up a 3D printer? Okay, why I said Jaden and Marcus is because Jaden set up a 3D printer and Ender Tree right, in his YouTube video. And uh, Marcus, you also own a 3D printer. All right, so I would like to hear from you guys uh, while you think about it. Maybe Suat also can share her experience on setting up an Ender Tree V2 printer. What is your experience, your first time, your feeling, uh, your first time feeling of, while setting up a 3D printer? You open the box and what do you feel? Wow, so scary, right? So what's your first reaction? What was well, for me, my first reaction when I first got the 3D printer was when I opened the box, it was like kind of a mixed feeling. I was excited and scared at the same time, excited and nervous. So when I first opened the 3D printer, I looked at the instructions. At first, I was kind of blur what to do. But then I saw one YouTube tutorial video how to assemble. Then I followed the instructions. I managed to assemble the thing. But after assembling, there was some parts where I screwed up. I accidentally messed up the thing. So I had to unscrew and turn it back and screw it back again. So those were the things that made me get even more nervous while I was assembling the thing. But after assembling everything, then I saw everything was okay, correct to what the YouTube tutorial video was. So then I had that hope in my heart that the thing might work. So when I first plugged it in and I switched it on and it turned on, I was very happy. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Yeah, I think that's like a very good learning process. Like you try and then, the, oh no, oh, oh no, it failed. And what are you going to do next? Right. So how long did you, how long did it took you to, to set up the whole 3D printer? What's like the estimated time? Well, I started in the morning around 11 o'clock and I finished around 6 o'clock. I just want to hold it and start putting it break. I just assembled it. Focus. Yeah, do you do you get any help during the setup or you were like all uh, in yeah. yourself? Like, huh? There were certain yeah. parts where I had a few problems. So that part there, I asked my dad to help me and my dad had managed to help me hold while I screw in the screws. Mm. So he helped me a lot. So. All right. Thanks for sharing, Marcus. I think that's uh, all right. It, I think the, the the whole idea is to get started, right? And once you get started, you the problem that you're gonna face is you really don't know what's gonna happen, right? And then so it's kind of when you the risk to assemble. Yeah, but when you face the problem, your first reaction is to Google or go back and unscrew Google. Okay. Okay. Um, thanks for sharing, Marcus. So, overall, do you think it's difficult? Yeah. I would like to share. Okay. Yes. Uh, this is my, you can, as you can, as you guys can see, that my Ender 3 V2, that my first 3D printer. Before I assemble it, uh, I already go to YouTube and watch how other people assemble the 3D printer. Okay, and then, um. I took around one hour okay, to assemble the 3D printer. So I think it's not that tough to build the 3D printer. But uh, for sure, for the professional, they will only take about 30 minutes or less to build the 3D printer. So I think uh, that is not uh, difficult for you to own a 3D printer and build uh, a 3D printer and especially for girls and women out there okay if you want to have a 3D printer okay just go and get it okay for me I was so lucky because I have uh, my husband and Mr. Ober that always push me okay to use the 3D printer at first I do afraid I do nervous uh, how can I build it and then what should I do with it okay uh, will it turn to waste if I didn't use it 
and now i already print more than uh, half filaments okay i print a lot of things okay you guys can see this is an octopus a banshee okay uh, this is so interesting and fun okay so if you want uh, to have it so just go uh, go to a, a person that you can uh, talk to okay uh, and then they will make you feel i think you should go and get it ha, something like that okay so if you want to have it just go and get it yeah thank you Swat. so yeah that's a, a very really good advice before even getting a 3d printer you, you have to ask yourself is a 3d printing for me is 3d printing for me is a 3d printer for me and then uh, like what Suha said talk to someone that already knows 3d printing all right they will share you they will share with you a lot of their yeah, experiences all right uh, like what we are doing today we we talk about 3d printing right? it's not very tough uh, it's something that can be built on it's a learning curve like, that you need to experience it yourself so when you talk to your friends when you talk to even citron um, support we are able to help you guide you all right um, share with what we know and uh, hopefully you get less anxious less scared on trying out a 3d printer okay um so before we end our interview session um anyone anyone do you want to share anything else uh, i would like to open to our special guest um, marcus Jaden johnson so what um do you have anything you want to shout out to the community or to people who are new to 3d printing or who are still looking at 3d printing do you want to say anything to them? <laughs> what you want to say? Go, what you want to say? Go to Jaden yeah. channel. Uh, <laughs> Jaden will show you how to feel. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, your turn already. That 3D printing is not quite easy. Then we start with 3D prints. Mm -hmm. Then after 3D pen, we look at Tinkercad mm -hmm. or maybe other apps that we can make. Then we can start 3D printer. Yeah. Just yes. installing one easy now. Easy. <laughs> oh, easy. <yeah. laughs> How long you take to install your 3D printer? Six hours. <laughs> okay. But okay. you do it yourself. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Jaden. Yeah, that's a very good advice. Okay. It just it's not easy 3d printing is not easy right you have to know that right we are not telling you it's very very easy no it's not very easy but that doesn't mean that the journey is not satisfying you will learn a lot okay but of course as you start you pick up something easier and then you slowly build up your confidence all right um before we enter the giveaway session all right right now we are going to end our interview session by going through our comments and after that we will start our giveaway session All right we will be giving out to five rows of 200 gram filaments uh, to whoever gets the right answer so um, but before that let's look at the comments right there are some interesting things that you can learn through the command section over here okay so from Simpui over here, the smell from filament also not harmful, right? Is the filament harmful, right? That depends on what kind of filament you um, deal with. So Jean over here give a very good and precise answer. PLA is made from corn, right? Corn. Okay. Yes, the the fume of PLA is pretty safe. ABS will be a bit more harmful, but if you keep your room ventilated well, there will be no problem. All right. So don't worry about um, as you begin your 3D printing journey, the most recommended filament is PLA, which is what we're going to give out later on, PLA filament. Hey, this is the easiest filament to, to get started, and it's the safest filament around, that, around, around the market. Um, ABS, of course, uh, it will create, it will give you a bit toxic fumes so you have to make sure the ventilation is um, okay okay and then there's shaman over here uh, 
3D printing is, uh, the question is, is it difficult to set up a 3D printer? So his answer is, no, it's not difficult. It's only based on our patience, right? That's the key word, patience. Sometimes people buy 3D printer, always buy fully assembled, but mostly it was kind of fun assembling the 3D printer. That's a very good point. Okay, we, if you learn how to assemble the 3D printer, you learn how to fix the 3D printer at the same time. If you will get a 3D printer pre-assembled, of course, you will also learn how to fix a 3D printer as you progress in your 3D printing journey. So there are fun in setting up your own 3D printer as well. And of course, you might need to be careful sometimes, right? As advised by Shaman. So, okay. Um, so I am going to proceed right now to our giveaway session. Uncle Idris, Edubit, and me. <laughs> this is from Jaden. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to share my screen. So how it works is, uh, let me read through the rules of the uh, giveaway session. I'm going to share my screen right now. Application from tap. Can you all see my screen? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so during the giveaway quiz, here are a few simple rules. Number one, we will have five, question, uh, five objective questions. Number two, each question will get one 200 gram filament. Number three, write a complete answer as the following. So to get the correct answer, you have to type out A, 3D printer, or B, Malaysia, you have to write out the whole answer. Okay, not just A, B, C, D, no. You have to type the whole answer out to be correct. All right, number four, write your answer in the comment or live chat session. If you are in YouTube, you write in YouTube. If you are in Facebook, you write in Facebook comment section. And then number five, those with the correct answer and lucky, will be chosen as the winner. So our, we will have invigilator over here. We will scan through your command and see who gets the answer correctly first. All right, those will be the winners. And number six, the list of winners will be announced on tomorrow at Cyphron Technologies Facebook page. Okay, so after you attempted to get the free filament, don't forget to go back to Cytron's page and check for your names. If you don't check, then okay, la, the free filament I will bring home already. La. It's mine right here, okay? So uh, remember to go back and check whether your name is over there. All right, so are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? I'm not sure how many people are in the chat right now. Are you guys ready? Okay. All right. Um, yes. Okay. Yes. I need to. Okay, we have some viewers from YouTube and some viewers from Facebook. Okay, let's start with question number one. Question number one. All right, don't worry. Um, our questions are all very simple. And number seven over here, all judges' decisions are final. Okay, so question number one. Which material stated below is not compatible for an FDM 3D printer? Okay, um, before I show the answer, I'm going to explain what is FDM. FDM um, is basically what you know in 3D printing, right? The 3D printer that prints this way. I'm not going to show you the 3D printer. Now. Oh, the picture on the left side is an FDM 3D printer, right? There are many, many types of 3D printer out there. There's SLS, SLR, and then there's um, a laser a synthetic uh, 3D printer. So there are different types of 3D printers. Uh. So now we are talking about the printer on this picture on the left side. So I'll give you three answers. Are you all ready? I'll give you three answers. You have to pick the answers that is not compatible to an FDM 3D printer. Okay, three, two, one, go. Very easy, yeah, the question. 
yeah all our questions are very easy so um okay remember our rules is you have to type out the answers all right you have to type out the whole answer c da, 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 b c d da, da, da. so you have to type the whole thing out all right so i'm gonna give you all more time okay luckily i was on mute because then shouted the answer. <laughs> Excited. So it should be right. it should be Jaden, uh, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Are not <laughs> okay, so what do we get the the winners? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So um congratulations to whoever gets the right answer first. So now let's proceed to an, our next question. We have four more to give away. Question two, which 3D printer model that is currently not available at Citron page? Not available at Citron page. I'm going to leave like 10 seconds time gap for you to open Citron's page quickly and see the 3D printer page. Okay, not available at Citron's page. All right, are you all ready? Three, two, one, go. Uh, this reach. one is quite, yeah. quite difficult. Quite difficult. If, uh. mm. All right. if they go to our website, then they should know. Uh. Yes. At this time, no one shouting. Uh. No one accidentally shout. <laughs> 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 oh, right? Yeah. What you so remember, you have to type the whole answer out during the quiz session. All right. Example, A dot creality and the three V2. This is a complete answer. If you type just A, that doesn't count. Type the mm. whole complete answer. Okay. So, do we get a winner? Have we? Yeah. Have we got a winner? Yes. Okay. All right. We, we're still getting answers in. Okay. Great. So, now let's proceed to question number three. How many exists are there in an FDM 3D printer? How many exists? You all know what is exists, right? Exists, exists, and then there's like, yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna name out what exists. If I name out the exists, you will know the answer. Okay, so, ready? Three, two, one, go. So how many exits are there in an FDM 3D printer? Remember, type your answer right, together with the, the whole answer out. Okay, it's like our exam paper, lah, right? You have to give the exact answer. If you miss out something, then it doesn't count. Very strict on if you accidentally add an extra few answer behind they say it doesn't count really lah. this is not what i give you lah. this is not the objective answer i give you okay so we got a winner so what okay great and then question number four the following products are under 3d modeling printing category except Again, the following products are under 3D modeling or printing category except. Okay. Three, two, one, go. This one is also very easy. <laughs> uh, I mi mistakenly shout out just now. <laughs> We can bring home a 200 gram filament already. <laughs> okay. Except, except kecuali. Okay. The following products are under 3D modeling printing category. Kecuali, which one? Yang tak ada berkaitan dengan 3D printing. Do we have a winner? Do we have yes. a winner? Do yes. we have? Okay. All right, guys, last question. This is your last chance to 
win a 200 gram PLA filament. All right, last question. Get ready. Question five. Which of the following are items you can't print with an FDM 3D printer? Okay, are you all ready? All right, you'll probably be thinking like a, a million answers in your head right now, all right? But remember, things that you can't print with an FDM 3D printer. Three, two, one, go. Pretty simple, right? Yes. Okay. The um remember this um whole live session is about 3D printer, not the um you know what kind of printer, you know. There are so many types of printer. Don't get the wrong idea of this printer. <laughs> I give you hint ready. <laughs> All right. So the printer, which one the printer can print? Do we have a winner? So what? Do we have a winner? Do we have a winner? Yes, yes, we have the winner. Okay, all right. So that's the last question from us. Um, again, and of course, I. All right. Um, we will share out who will who are the winners at our product page tomorrow, all right? So do look. Do visit Cytron's Facebook page um, to, to check out the winners. We'll be posting it up tomorrow. All right. And don't forget to like and follow our Facebook page. And of course, at the same time, this is uh, my ending speech. Thank you to our special guests, Johnson, Jaden, and also Marcus. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for sharing your experiences on 3D printing. Hey, we would like to have you guys in the future as well. Um, and I hope you enjoy this conversation with the floor, okay, with everyone around here. So uh, before I end, guys who are in this live session, we are actually, Citron is actually having a 3D printing campaign right now. And we have a special rate on 3D printers and also 3D printing accessories. Um, all, right, all the 3D printing uh, products on Citron's page. So do check us out. And all right, thanks for watching. I will see you guys again. So thank you all. All right, see you guys again. Thank you guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye.